The thing that I'll miss the most is just being a part of a family and my teammates and my coach because um, we just have formed this bond that is just unbreakable. What I miss the most is just like the family aspect of it like every single one of those girls was like around me 24 7 like practically all my sisters and it's just like it's gonna really be hard to not have that anymore. I think the greatest thing about team sports is the bonds you build with your teammates. Um, we all have specific jobs but when we come together we are like a well-oiled machine and we get the job done. Um, just the, the bonds you make. Me and Mia have this special bond when I'm in center field and she's pitching. She looks out to me and I get chills. Just we know what we're about to do. We're about to do the thing. We're ready to rock. Just love it. Well, my favorite part of being a student athlete on the tennis team was being able to help build a program from scratch, um, getting experience playing NAIA, NCAA Division II, GLIAC, um, one of the top conferences in the country, um, being able to lead my underclassmen and provide a very solid base for the future of this tennis program. Coming in as freshmen, we were these little girls really that you know had no idea what college soccer was and now we've grown to these like strong independent women that I know that we're all going to succeed and because of the things we've learned in soccer and the things we've been through and a lot of it like all together we're going to be stronger women for it. Uh, the thing that I'll miss most about being on the team is uh, all the traveling and the tournaments that we go to um, between like the practice rounds and the bus rides we're always having a blast so uh, the tournaments is what, are, what I'm going to miss the most. I miss competing with all the great players we got to compete with over the years. So we got to go to a lot of great tracks, play a lot of great players, both from international and all over the country. It really was just amazing to get out there with a set of competition you really can't get just locally. I love waking up every day, um, training with the guys that, uh, that I love and you know that are family and it's a sport that I love and I'll uh, never forget. Uh, being on a team, you have like an automatic family and you spend so much time with, with each one of these girls that they become like a sister and you just know everything about them and going through the ups and downs together, that's probably what I'll miss the most. Probably going to miss Ken the most. Uh, he's basically like a second dad, so. Uh, I miss the hotel breakfasts, um, staying in hotels. That was always fun with, with, with your friends. What I'm going to miss the most is Austin's beard. I'm going to miss El Salto the most. What I'm going to miss the most is uh, vacuuming my carpet. Um, once I leave here, I won't have my apartment anymore, and I won't have that luscious carpet to uh, tend to anymore. I won't miss morning workouts. It's morning workouts. 7 a.m. practices. Um, morning practice. Summer training schedules. It's the two-mile time trial run. Fitness test. Preseason um, test. It's the fitness test. The preseason fitness test. Fitness test. The ride to Northern Michigan. The super long bus rides. The long bus rides. The however long bus ride up to Northern Michigan. I have to say ice baths. Any sort of physical activity. I miss hearing Dave say, Dude, why don't you go to lifting? Like rigorous hours of study tables. Peter Brown jellies, bro. Just the PB and J's during the games that we get. Uh, having PB and J's in the dugout and then watching every freshman take their finger and dip it in the peanut butter jar. Or watching another freshman, watching another freshman take a spoon and just eat it like it's his own personal peanut butter jar and you call him out on it and there's nothing wrong with it. Just how it's 70 degrees one day and then snowing the next. I am not gonna miss uh, destroying my car tires every single day on the potholes of Hammond and East Chicago and Whiting. Um, I think my entire front end of my car almost fell into a pothole yesterday actually. So I'm really not gonna miss the roads, so all right. Coach, he, he was kind of special because he, you know, this is his career. It's not, he's not, you know, just coaching uh, every day. He's going and teaching lessons at a club. You know, this is his life, and he's extremely knowledgeable about the golf swing, and he's taught me and I know everybody quite a bit about, you know, thinking your way around the golf course and the golf swing itself. So it's kind of, it's really been a privilege to, you know, work, play for him and work under him and just learn from what he has to tell us. 
Um, I really liked his attitude. He really cares a lot about each of his players, uh, which really motivates you to come in each and every day and make those long trips day in and day out with everybody, whether we're struggling or playing well. It's nice to have a guy that cares about you no matter how you play. For me, my favorite part about having Lucian as a coach, he was always very motivating um, and always kind of pushed us to our limits and to really like see our potential and what we could accomplish in four years. Uh, for example, never did I think that I would have such a close match against Wayne State, um, but here, like this spring season, I was able to be able to have a close match when usually they are number one in our conference and it's something that is very hard to accomplish. So it's something that we continue to push ourselves every single match and that's something I'm going to miss a lot. My favorite part of being a student athlete for, for Coach Lou was um, just being able to be the leader of the team, giving the, being given those leadership roles and just being able to have a um, long lasting impact on the program. Um, and on the future of the student athletes that are going to join the tennis team. Part about playing for Medge was um, just, I love how he emphasized school first. Um, you know, some coaches emphasize it more than others, but that and how much he put family first. Um, I know if any of us really needed to go home and um, see our family, if something happened, I know he would say, you know, nothing's important here. Go spend time with your family, families first. So I really. I appreciated that and I uh, just, I really love that about him. I would say favorite part about playing for Medge was like, like she said, all of that is, you know, his priorities, what, what he, you know, allowed us to prioritize. And um, I would say that like, even when we had like rough days, he would still like make us laugh and like joke around with us. He was always joking with us and saying, crazy funny things that we would always like make fun of him and joke around with him um, like he'd always call us foxes he'd always tell us he'd be like all right foxes let's go and like just stuff like that we just we had we had fun overall I think my favorite thing about her is that how supportive she is in life and on the court I feel like I came in as a freshman timid and scared of just the world and she has taught me to become a strong independent woman and I'm ready to take on the real world and get a job and just face life itself and so I think coming taking away something from volleyball and putting that into real world she's taught me so many things like life-changing things that I just am so grateful for and not only is she a role model but she practices what she preaches and um, I love that she's so strong and it has helped us become strong players and people. So I'm forever grateful for everything she's done. My favorite thing about Coach is not only the things she teaches us about volleyball, but the things that she teaches us about life. So coming in, I know from the start, a lot of her things were, I don't want you to just be strong players, I want you to be strong women, and I want you to empower yourself, and I want you to do things for you. And I took that very seriously, and so that as I went through my college career, and I now am in the real world and do stuff for myself, that I always keep that in the back of my mind, and. I don't ever let anyone else make me feel a way that I don't want to feel, and she'll use that a lot of times even during the game. She'll be like, don't let this team make you feel some other way. But it sticks with you through volleyball, through life, through anything. So I think that's my favorite thing. Mine is how tough she is on us. I like how she always pushes us even when we feel like during the fitness test, we're gonna like roll over and die, which we do afterward. But when she just puts new challenges on us and faces us with different sorts of adversity, regardless if it's something she puts on us or something that just comes to us, she knows that we can always just fight through it. And she's super encouraging about all of that, uh, which is awesome because it always pushes us to just be better on and off the court, so. Um, I, I just like, I love that he loves the game in so many, aspects like the other day i was i was just talking to him about about like the premier league and like you know actually watching soccer and he he just has such like an admiration for the game as a whole that like you can tell that he just gives 
everything when he, when he if it's practicing if it's a game that he's he's there and he's like present from from the get-go this isn't so much like on the field but it was like that first week he came in so it'd be our junior year but he sat us all down and said what do you seniors want like he made us a priority and i think that speaks a lot about his character because he kind of heard what we were going through he understood what we were going through a new coach our senior year he made sure that it was it was all on us. What do we want out of this? What do we, where do we want to go? How do we want to end our seasons, our last season? What I'll miss about Coach is her just being really hard on the infielders, um, especially shortstops because she played shortstop in college. Um, sometimes it's really frustrating, but I don't think before she coached me that I actually knew how to properly feel the ground ball. <laughs> so um, she's very knowledgeable about the game and the skills of being an infielder. I know one thing I'll miss about both of them is just the passion they bring to the program, the passion they bring every day, day in and day out, and, I mean, sprinkling it upon all of us, <laughs> um, and the love they show for all of us and the game, so. Um, Coach T in specific, Coach Nikki and Coach T have done a lot for us all, but me and Coach T have this little thing when I go on the mound and we give each other a high five and we, we blow each other a kiss and it's super cute and then that's my dude. So that's like one thing that's gonna I'm gonna miss about Coach T. Um, I would say his work ethic, um, his determination, and the love of uh, for the game. I think uh, is something I haven't seen in a coach uh, before. I think he puts a lot of effort into um, researching the opponent, um, planning his practices. So I applaud him for that, and I think um, that's one of his greatest um, abilities. Similar to Felix, his passion for the game is just unreal. Um, he really cares about his, his, his team and his players too and there's always a really good vibe, um, especially this past season with the team. I think his desire to win and wanting to win and uh, his, his work that he puts into it to uh, make us ready for each and every opponent uh, and, uh, and I think that's one of his uh, greatest uh, like strengths. Uh, my favorite part about Boom is how uh, he preached like family on the team, you know, and kind of brought us all together and had pretty much everybody kind of buy-in and I mean, he made it so comfortable for everyone on the team. You know, like sometimes on some teams, uh, it's hard to like get along, but uh, Coach Boom made it so easy for everybody to get along and he, you know, also didn't only care about basketball, so he would actually uh, ask about people's lives and you know how everything is going in life so I feel like that's the one thing that I liked about Boomer. Pushed me, he helped push everyone to do better. This team's just been getting better and better each year. I remember just seeing from the how the team was my freshman year all the way through my senior year like we got way better, just way better and it's all thanks to uh, Coach Austin. Like, honestly, he really, he, I love, he really does help give us uh, pep talks and whatnot because it's some, like, when you run eight, ten miles for, like, one day, it sometimes gets hard, and he really, like, raises up our spirits a lot. So, Coach has this look that everybody knows what it means, but there's no words. It's just he doesn't need to say anything. A lot of times it's when he hears something that we're talking about that he didn't want to hear and he makes that face and you just kind of know what he, exactly what he's going to say but he doesn't ever have to say it. I think that something that makes her her is definitely when you'll definitely see it in the spring tournaments she'll just kind of like walk out onto the court get in somebody's face be like what are you doing? Yeah, stop the whole game. Just, it's always on her time. And I think that is my favorite thing is just, you know, it's whenever she wants it done, like you better do it. And so getting in their faces, stopping the game, that's always been like a funny thing to watch happen. And then when it happens to you, it's a little scary. Um, yeah. Is she always has a pen during the games and she just clicks, just clicks. The whole time. Well, her loudness. Because <laughs> even if she's in the other room, you can hear her yelling or just talking. 
always comes into practice like with a Starbucks cup full of water or she always has her like steel water bottle that is always and it always gets knocked over somehow like and yeah that's one thing that like, I'll like remember <laughs> that she always has water. Wavy style that's what I'm saying like she pulls like she just like dresses just how she wants to all the time regardless if she's like in heels and like really like dolled up for a game or she shows up to practice in her board shorts or sometimes she'll wear like the I don't and they were like leggings and everybody one time we came to practice and she was wearing leggings and we thought she was wearing like knee socks and she wasn't but they were just like leggings but they were like cloth and they were like socks we were like sitting there for a whole practice like coach what's up with the knee socks she's like they're part of my leggings we're like oh okay she pulls beanies I mean whatever it is that she wants to wear she'll wear it but she like rocks it so it's awesome her style these she had these pair of like I think they were like swim trunk pants and she would wear them to practice and they were the most random shorts ever but she would just like walk in and shred her stuff into practice it just yeah with the hat it was all they always had a hat um, he's he's full of dad jokes he like he, I just remember it was like one of the first days that we had him and we were still like not really sure what he was like and one of the girls had like her nails painted but one of them was like a different color and he went up and he was like oh do you do you know that one of those is a different color and we were just like oh my god like he's just like full of those kind of jokes so yeah it's honestly his dad jokes last year we made him like best dad it, jokes. yeah best dad jokes or something because he would say stuff like Let's go light up the net. <laughs> we were like, goalies, are you ready? <laughs> we're like, okay. <laughs> Definitely his playlist. At the beginning of the season, he'll always ask us what we want, like music wise. And he just like hodgepodge it together. So you never know what song's gonna play next. Uh, sometimes they'll be rapping, country, and then like Disney, like play sometimes. <laughs> And we, we all just jam out, and it's always during speed workouts. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Ryan Hayes loves to tell stories before every game. So we'll all get together in like a, a huddle pre-match, and um, he'll start telling a story to kind of get us in the zone. Um, but his stories always leave us like really confused. Um, there was one about coffee beans. Big coffee, my friend. Big coffee, um, big coffee beans. But then, what is it, does the story go? Stronger, stronger in water or something like that. Anyway, it was, I think we won that game though, to be honest. Be coffee. Be coffee, coffee, yeah, it works. <laughs> dude, 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 go get me Wendy's. Dude, 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 when are you going to learn to start hitting the ball down? You always swing up and you're never going to make contact. You think you're going to hit? Not here. Dude, when are you going to realize that hitting is not that hard? Back when I was in the 80s, I would do it all the time. I faced off her against Randy Johnson, and I made that guy break his freaking hand. I hit a home run off of him. He got so mad, he punched the freaking dugout. Hitting is not hot that hard, all right? You just hit the ball. That's all you got to do. You're making it way too hard on yourself. Anything else other than, dude, go give me Wendy's from Dave. Fried chicken sandwich with no bun from Wendy's. This isn't, spicy, isn't, chicken spicy chicken, not considered yeah. keto. Dude, when I was in Pro Bowl, I had to ride the bus. I had to ride the bus for 16 hours. No meals. I got one taco. One taco in the Dominican. That was it. That's all I had. You guys are complaining about getting Wendy's? Gosh. You're like my son. <laughs> Dude. Why don't you grab that bat? That's a low ball bat. You're always trying to hit the high pitches with the low ball bat. Switch it out. Figure out a bat that's good for you. Hit the high pitches with the high ball bat. It's plain and simple. Dude, you know what's sad? You're so much better than you were last year and you still suck. <laughs>way back from a spring tournament which we won by the way and coach we're like singing this song we're like playing and jamming out on a bus ride back and all of a sudden like it's real quiet and coach just starts singing it was club going up on a Tuesday and she's like spitting out these lines and everyone just like turns and looks at her and we're just like dying because our coach is just spitting out verses here so I thought that was hilarious. So junior year, this is probably my favorite memory. Um, we were in practice just scrimmaging and um, Lauren out of the blue was running back to get back behind the ball. And Scorpion, 
<laughs> so hard and honestly everyone just started dying laughing and coach just stopped practice because we were going to be able to do anything after that. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're done. We're so our team is a world-class um, dance team on the side. It's honestly hard to keep up with. A lot of moves, busting out every day. But I think the like memory we're gonna miss the most is in Florida when our coach um, kind of came out of the step up to the streets and just tore it up and got on flow softball and that was awesome. So I'm gonna miss that. Everybody like dance battling before the games with other teams during rain delays. Definitely the Raptor. Um, oh, that's incredible. Last year, it was fall, and didn't really know coach very well, and Sammy Miller, senior last year, comes up to me, she's like, dude, coach just ran through the outfield like a raptor. <laughs> About 10 seconds later, she's like, look, and there she was again. <laughs> For me, I would definitely have to say my first year that I've been here, um, we went to the NAIA tournament, national tournament, and we left pretty early in the morning and one of our players uh, just didn't show up. We tried to call him. Um, he said he was on the way, but actually he was still in bed. Um, and we ended up leaving him because otherwise we would have been late to the game. But yeah, we're still making jokes about him. This is way back to my freshman year uh, in the spring semester. We were down in a tournament and uh, we went to Texas Roadhouse after a practice round. And uh, Leo had about 10 of those like biscuit rolls that are like a thousand calories each so I just remember we ate so much food that night and we could barely walk out of the place after we were done. Coach I apologize for my texting abilities um, I now know to put my phone away after 12 o'clock. I was pitching at Embry-Riddle <laughs> I was pitching in Embry-Riddle my junior year here. Uh, I gave up the farthest home run, I guess, anybody who's ever played baseball has ever seen because it's still all that we talk about. Um, we Google mapped it. It was 500 feet. My roommate, Fless, was pitching, and uh, I hadn't seen this done before. He threw the first pitch of the baseball game, and it went over the fence. And then he threw the second pitch of the baseball game, and it also went over the fence. 